Who was Aurelius Dumbledore's mother? How is she connected to Nagini's child? And how do they both connect to Lord Voldemort? During the Secrets of Dumbledore movie, it is revealed that Credence Barebone is actually Aurelius Dumbledore, and his father is Aberforth Dumbledore. But we have no clue who his mother is. Or do we? At the start of the Fantastic Beasts series, we know Aurelius as Credence Barebone. Storytellers often hide clues in a character's name. The surname Barebone is a subtle, yet direct nod to the wizard's surname Gaunt, an individual who is Gaunt has literally withered down to skin and bare bones. Another major clue that ties Aurelius's mother to House Gaunt is found in Credence's romantic relationship with Nagini. The Gaunts are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. They have an affinity for snakes due to their ability to speak parcel tongue. And as we know, Nagini ultimately transforms into a snake. If Aurelius's mother is a Gaunt, then her family might have been displeased that she had a child with Aberforth Dumbledore, who is only a half-blood wizard. This family pressure was would force her to send the child to distant family members in America who are more understanding. The Gaunt family has a very famous connection to Isolt Sayer, who broke away from the Gaunt family to flee to America. Isolt and her husband went on to found Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So for the moment, let's accept that Aurelius's mother is from House Gaunt. And let's tackle a new question. Did Nagini have a child with Aurelius Dumbledore? Sounds crazy, right? But during the Fantastic Beasts series, it is very clear that Aurelius Dumbledore had a romantic relationship with Nagini. At the end of the Crimes of Grindelwald movie, he rejects her to join Grindelwald. As the series continues, we've almost forgotten Nagini and the fact that she had this romantic relationship. Where is she? And is it possible that she might be carrying Aurelius Dumbledore's unborn child? Yes, I think it's fair to say that it's definitely possible and even plausible. She's not even in the Secrets of Dumbledore movie, yet she's probably carrying the biggest secret. If for a moment we accept that Nagini was pregnant and did have Aurelius' child in secret, then we'll notice that she has a major problem. Nagini is a maledictus, and at some point will be forever trapped in the body of a snake. Similar to werewolves and vampires, Nagini is an outcast, and therefore the child's upbringing would most likely be very traumatic. In an effort to blend in or stay hidden, both mother and child would suppress their magic, which can be very dangerous. The child's father, Aurelius, developed an obscurial as did the child's great aunt, Ariana Dumbledore. This child would be very vulnerable, and with Aurelius dead or at least out of the picture, who will be there to protect the child when Nagini can no longer transform back into a human? After Nagini is rejected by the Dumbledores, she's not likely to seek them out for help. Instead, she might try to seek out Aurelius's mother or his mother's family. Now, in doing so, she will find out what we've already established that Aurelius' mother was actually a member of House Gaunt. By the time the blood curse starts to take full effect, and Nagini begins to search for aid and support, one of the last remaining members of House Gaunt will be none other than Tom Riddle, aka Lord Voldemort. And we know that ultimately Nagini ends up becoming a horcrux for Voldemort's soul. Mothers will go to incredible lengths to protect their children. Knowing that, it's easy to see how Nagini might have gone as far as making an unbreakable vow with Voldemort to protect her child. This might explain why she became so loyal to the Dark Lord. How interesting would it be if Lord Voldemort were protecting Nagini's child, who is also Albus Dumbledore's great niece or nephew, Aberforth's grandchild. And that brings me to another point. During this entire theory, we've referred to Nagini's offspring as a child. But it's also very possible and even more intriguing if Nagini were to have twins, a boy and a girl. The Maledictus curse is passed from mother to daughter. The girl would literally be a cursed child, and her brother would be desperate to find a cure for his sister. Granted, this is all wild speculation in theory, but it might be interesting for future Wizarding World stories. What do you think? Be sure to follow for more Harry Potter content.